Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I am going to walk through a sample GED science test question for you. I get quite a bit of questions about GED science, and so I want to work through a couple things with you, but let me tell you a couple quick things before we begin on the problem that you have here on the screen. Uh, first and foremost, I want to let you know that you do not need to know specific science information. So I'm just going to put that here. No need to know specifics. I'm just going to abbreviate that there. Because a lot of people think, oh, I need to go back and study science. Now, are there certain subjects that are advantageous for you to study? Yes, absolutely there are. However, you don't, you're not going to be given a question and given a picture of a cell and asked to diagram a cell. They're going to give you a picture of a cell and then maybe ask you a reading based question about that cell. So you don't need to go back and try to study all this science. OK. And then the second thing I want to let you know that you do need to have math. And the question I've chosen that's on the screen right now is a math question. So you do need to have math. OK, so now uh, now that I've got those couple things out of the way, let me go ahead and jump into our problem that we have here on the screen here. So the question says, choose one correct answer in the drop down list. And we'll see that in the minute. The drop down list is right here. Uh, but let's do the question first. So the formula that calculates the force of an object is force equals mass times acceleration, where F F force in newtons, M equals mass, and A equals acceleration. So force equals mass times acceleration, and that's the formula there. Okay, now, so we are given a scenario here. A car is traveling at a speed of 15 miles per hour and has a thrust of 32,340 newtons. What is the mass of the vehicle? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to identify what do we have here? What are the parts here in this problem? So we definitely want to say, okay, oh, acceleration, miles per hour, right? Because we already know that acceleration is the speed, how fast you're going. So we're, we're going to go ahead and plug in that in that formula. Uh, when we do the formula here, force equals mass times acceleration, we're going to put in 15 for A. And then we go back and look into the question and see what else do we have? Oh, we have 32,340 newtons. So we're going to plug that into the formula, 32,340. And then the thing that we don't have is the mass. OK, and that's the question. What is the mass of the vehicle? So that's another little hint tip I can give you. See how that sets up? So you get this uh, equation here and then here you have two pieces and then you're asked to find the third piece. So essentially what you're doing is identifying the pieces that you have, which we just did, plugging those pieces in, uh, 15 miles per hour for acceleration, 32,340 newtons for force, and then we know that now we're looking for M. Okay. Now you have a basic equation set up here. So the basic equation here is what do we do here? And if you've been working with me for any amount of time, you know my COPA method. That's not the point of this video. So I'm going to move through this part pretty quickly. We're just going to divide each side by 15. Again, if you need some more work on that, you can check out my other work. Um, and that equals M. And then 32,000. Uh, 340 divided by 15. I've already done this work ahead of time, so I wouldn't have to stop and do the calculation while making this video. Uh, so now you see that mass equals 2,156. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and go to, back to that slide. Uh, what we have here, 2,156, and then you see your drop down because this slide here, and we see 2,156. So as you're going to see on the GED test, and so here's just another screenshot of the drop down menu, and you see our answer is right there, 2,156. And I always love to use the question, uh, the color green, to identify when something is correct. So that is our correct answer. So again, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant demonstrating to you a uh, GED science question. Now, if you would like more help on this, feel free to go to my website, mygedlive.com and check out the things that I offer there. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down here below the video. 
And if you really like my content, go ahead and subscribe. I try to post as much information as I can. Um, and so this is another video of, of my posting to help folks out. Again, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant. Thank you.